Welcome to your Wednesday NHL Picks. Here with us is our consultant Dave Golakov to share his free picks. Dave, thank you for being here. How are you today? I'm doing fantastic. Excellent. Now, can you run us through the games you find some value and your final picks for each game? Sure. Well, there's only two to pick from today, so we'll do both for you. Uh, we won't be stingy. I mean, it'd be pretty weird if we only did one, but uh, we'll do both. We got the Philadelphia New York Rangers game. Um, we'll start with that. You know, I'm tempted to take the value here with the Ranger, or sorry, with the Flyers. Take them as a road dog because both teams are struggling right now. I mean, Flyers have lost a couple in a row. Rangers have lost uh, five of seven. I mean, I just don't want to be laying this type of number with the Rangers team that has not played well overall uh, of late, has not been great at home. But on the flip side, you got a Flyers team that does not play well at Madison Square Garden. Um, they have lost um, five of seven on the road, the Flyers have. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a mishmash, kind of hard to pick the side. What I'm going to do is take the over. Um, you know, the Rangers last year allowed uh, 2.35 goals per game, and that was one of the best numbers in the NHL. This year, they're at three goals per game, and that's one of the worst in the NHL. Uh, keeping them company in that basement is the Flyers, who are averaging, who are allowing an average of more than three goals per game as well. So, uh, two bad defenses, in my opinion. Even though the Rangers should be better than this, Flyers have one of the best offenses. Um, you take a look at Steve Mason. He's got a career goals against average, well over three against the uh, the Rangers, and he should be in net tonight. I mean, that to me makes the most sense in this game. So I'm going to take the over here. Next up, we got the Vancouver Canucks and the Edmonton Oilers in the late game tonight. Um, Oilers just, again, a big flaming pile of uh, trash. You know, they had that one stretch where they won four games in a row. But other than that, they showed no pulse whatsoever this season. You got a Canucks team that has actually been surprisingly good this year coming to town laying around minus 140 that's right on my border where i'm happy to to uh invest in the favorite you know they've already beat edmonton three times this year uh ryan miller i believe i think he's either 10 and 0 or 10 and 1 in his career against uh edmonton so you know all signs point to the canucks winning here oilers having a tough time scoring at home they can't beat vancouver they can't beat uh anyone right now still have not won a game against the western conference I'm going to lay minus 140 with the Canucks. Also, uh, I'll give you a third pick. I do like the under in this game. I just think the Canucks are, or sorry, the Oilers are not, are not scoring a lot. They don't play well against Ryan Miller. Uh, this lends itself to a low scoring affair. So uh, that's about it there for you. All right, so your final picks are on the Flyers and the Rangers game is over 5.5. And on the other matchup, we have two picks here from the Canucks, minus 140 and under 5.5, right? Yeah, that's right. Excellent. Thanks for your time, Dave. And this is Silvia for SBR Picks. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns, big money free betting contests year round, a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.